all the things we have completed in the last session about the grid systems and how to prepare the grids and what are the different methods everything we have completed in the last session now the next uh, exercise the, that we have started in the last session that is what validation of the etap software okay validation of what does mean by the validation of etap software i have discussed in detail in the last session so i am not going to do the, uh, discuss all those things again like uh, we have we, we have to understand what are the different types of elements or element options or modeling elements will be there in your etap software so basically in etap software there will be two types of uh, uh, elements there will be what two types of elements will be there one is your line element another one is your uh, shell element line element or line element will be there and second one be the area element two elements will be there line element another one is what area element or in other another way you can call that uh, it has uh, uh, like frame element or shell element both the things are same frame and line and area and shell got it so these two types of elements will be there in your uh, etap software so let me present the screen first is it visible now yes sir okay so just go to file go to new model and uh, in this okay let it to be li uh, like this we have to see some other things here so yeah so there are two types of elements one is your one is your line element sorry line or in another way i'm going to call it as what frame element another way i'm going to call it as what frame element and second type of the element is what second type of element is your uh, area element area element or shell element these two types of elements will be there in type software line elements will include or frame elements will include your beam beam column okay this all comes under the uh, under the type of frame element braces what does mean by braces this is a later discussion links what does mean by the links that also i will let you know later links so this all comes under the frame element so main focus is, will be uh, just give to these beam and column so basically your beam and column are your frame element they are what line element why we are going to call it as line element or frame element so in comparison of its the length its the longitudinal uh, uh, dimension in comparison of its longitudinal dimension or length of the member the width and depth of the sections are less are very less actually that's why we are going to call it as what line element or frame element if you are talking about the beam so beam that might be that may be what 5 meter so 5 meter if you have 5 meter means 5000 mm 5000 mm and uh, your depth my, will be what only 450 mm 450 width will be what 230 mm if you are talking about the beam so uh, means 5000 and it is what 450 only it is what 230 so in comparison of its length other two dimensions are very very less that's why we are going to call it as what Uh, like a uh, frame element or line element okay so uh, for the case of beam this thing is there for the case of your column the same thing is there so other two dimensions are very very less in comparison of its uh, length of the height of your column that's why column is also comes under the your frame element and when you come to the area element or shell element it includes your slab your slab your shear wall shear wall spindrel this uh, uh, this all comes under what your shell elements this all comes under what your shell elements why we are going to call this slab as a shell element or area element because uh, if you are going to see that uh, dimensions of this slab so length width okay are very large length and width both are will be will be uh, approximately uh, will closer proportion proportion will uh, there will be no great uh, great difference between them okay suppose it is 3 meter so it may be of 5 uh, meter so yeah okay that much difference uh, is not there but when you compare it uh, length and width uh, by the depth uh, so depth of the slab will be what 
125, 130, the slab depth will be there. So, it is actually what? Uh, 125, okay? And 130 like that, slab depth will be there. So, see, suppose 3 meter means 3000 mm. Size of uh, one dimension of your slab, suppose x direction. In y direction, slab dimension is what? Suppose 5000 mm. And uh, depth is what? Depth is only 120 mm of the slab. So, in comparison of uh, other two dimension of the slab, the depth is very very uh, small. That's why we are going to like uh, uh, neglect it. Okay. Uh, and we are going to say that it is what area element. It is what area element or uh, that is what your shell element. So, two types of element will be there in your ETAB software. Keep in mind for, uh, uh, for the all later discussion. Got it. So, there will be two types of uh, elements. Next. So, it is what uh, types of element we have seen, uh, seen. Okay. Now, next what we have to uh, model it. We have to model this truss. And the objective of taking this exercise is what? Uh, like uh, we need to understand whether your software is giving the right result or not. If you are giving the right input, so we will uh, cross check it. Uh, we, we will cross check the software result with your, uh, uh, with your manual calculation. So if both the things are going to be, if, if the, both the things are matching, then we are going to say that, yeah, so results given by the software is correct. We can trust on the result of software. But if the things are not matching, then we will uh, see what, what, what we have to do. Got it. But before of uh, uh, talking uh, about uh, these uh, things and doing the modeling and all, I just want to know from you all, like, uh, in my, uh, you might have learned in your academics, uh, uh, there are some assumptions for the analysis of uh, trusts. For the analysis of trusts, there are some assumptions. Have you remember that? Can anyone please? It's a test. What you did in your uh, academics? Tell me fast. The, the so, joints uh, are hinge. Sorry? The joints are presumed hinge. Okay, okay. Joints are uh, assumed to be hinge. Okay. Anyone else? And while analyzing and while uh, like uh, performing the analysis and design of uh, truss. Okay. Or to find the forces in the member of truss. So, we actually uh, consider, uh, taking some considerations, some assumptions we are uh, making for the analysis. So, what are those assumptions? Just I want to know from you all. The, the 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 frame only takes a tension and compression only no bending very good exactly exactly yeah you, yes okay from harry sir i'm expecting from others i'm expecting from others just tell me fast sir members are connected only at uh, their uh, end points means ends very good excellent very good anyone else there's an instant test Yes, Mubashira. Members, uh, members, see the Members, see the Yes, that's also right, right, right. Anyone else? Or forces are applied. What joints? Joints, yes. very good. That is the most important one. Exactly. Sanjay sir. Anyone else? Mubashira. Yes, sir. I'm forgetting. So you have to revise this. I told you, you are not going to learn this software. And you okay. will not become a structural engineer by just learning oh, okay. of software. Software is just a software. Actually, you have to do the everything. Okay. Software is just to uh, uh, means save our time. Okay. Yes. So, don't think that yes. uh, uh, blindly we are, we are just going to click over a button or you will get everything and you will uh, get the money. Okay. It will not like that. Yes. You have to work hardly. So, yes, yeah, and in the structural design field, you have to do, uh, means uh, you have to remember everything that you did in your uh, academics and in your uh, master's, what you did, okay? Yes. Okay. So, yeah, very good. Some of you have uh, uh, given the right answer. Uh, there are some assumptions to perform the analysis and design of uh, your trust. Okay. So, let me summarize all those. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So, very first thing is what? While performing the analysis, we have to neglect the self-weight of uh, your members or your structure. 
but actually uh, this is applicable when we are doing uh, like uh, manual calculation or when we are doing uh, the things in our academics okay at that time we are neglecting the self rate of the member but when you are going to de uh, deal a re any real real project real example of trust and uh, and uh, that kind of thing if you are going to do industrial project so you can't neglect the self rate of the member self rate of structure am i right wrong sir correct okay so this is a one assumption okay if you going to look for any book for uh, this assumption so this first option you will find there you will uh, you will get so weight of the member will be what neglected first thing second all the members have the uniform cross section as sanjay sir said that uh, the member should be what uh, that should be of uh, uh, same size okay equal size so that is what that should have the uniform cross section like suppose uh, uh, two members will be there like suppose these are one member and uh, another member is going to be connected at this point and this will be like this but uh, suppose if there is thing like, like suppose one member is this is of uh, uh, uniform cross section the depth at this level at this point is right here it is same here it is same and now i am going to take the another member which is going to be connected this this first member and here the size is like this so it will it will not be okay here the depth is uh, different and here the depth is going to be changed okay so that will not work the sections uh, the size of the section throughout uh, throughout should be what uniform second so this will be the first assumption second assumption is this one all the forces should be at uh, will be at the joint only the forces will be only at the joints it will not be like that uh, uh, the force will be, suppose this is one element is there and this is the end and this is the another end this is i and this is what your j and so always your load is going to be concentrated at this point and is going to be concentrated at this point and that you have to consider the load is going to be uh, is coming actually at the joints at the ends at the connecting points between the two members but you can't consider the load at the mid of span of any member at the mid of span or anywhere uh, uh, in this on the span of the member not only at the center you can't take at here you can't take at here you can't take anywhere throughout the span only you are allowed to take the loading at the joints at the ends third assumption fourth is what all the members have your only axial force so your means your member will be subjected to axial forces that might be uh, sorry that may be what uh, tensile force or that may be what compressive force two types of uh, for, uh, nature, axial force nature will be either one it will be what uh, may, it may be tension or it may be what compression it may be what tension or it may be compression that thing will be there so your member is not going to carry any movement your joint is not going to carry any movement so only axial Uh, stresses will be transferred to your member that may be tensile force that may be compressive force fourth and fifth one is what uh, it is what fifth uh, members are connected at their ends only members are connected at their ends only and that will be what your pinned joint that will be what your pinned joint means what it is ensuring that pin joint that is ensuring that this joint uh, will not carry any movement remember this point members are connected at the joint at uh, at the joint through the pinned connection thing is what uh, another th another most important thing try to understand suppose any member is there and then next member i am going to put uh, 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 provide here then one member will be like this so someone some of you may think that uh, instead of taking this joint instead of taking this uh, member here i will take the member at the mid of this one member i will take from here so this is not uh, means uh, uh, you are not allowed to do this all the member should be connected at their ends only all the member so this point okay this member one and this is what two so this first member uh, uh, first member is right uh, there is a there uh, we are following the Uh, assumption for this first member because we are going to make the connection uh, through the end of this first member but tell me it is not but uh, but see it is not the end of the second member second member is is what it is the midpoint so it is wrong always your uh, two members are going to be connected 
uh, at their ends only so there should be end of a first member also there should be end of second member also so that you can connect that if you are trying to put uh, your member at anywhere of the at anywhere at, at the span of your uh, first member okay so it will not work it is it will be wrong all the member will be connected at their ends now but what about this connection so this connection will be what pinned connection so you may ask a question what what does mean by the, uh, this pinned connection you may ask a question what does mean by this pin connection why we are going to say especially it is the pinned connection so actually pin connection means what this joint is not going to carry any movement this joint should not carry any movement it should transfer the stresses uh, as a axial it should transfer the axial stresses either tensile or compressive either tensile or what compressive so this joint will not carry any movement is that all okay that is the meaning of pinned connection or you can call it as what Hin hinged connection is that all okay yes, sir. okay so this is the all about the assumption that we have to uh, make for the analysis of uh, truss okay why i have taken this uh, uh, it will be uh, means uh, uh, it will help uh, on the later stage when we are going to model and analyze this truss example so now you all are ready hello yes sir yes sir okay so as i told you in the last session with this exercise we have to learn so many things okay it is not only just the validation of the software along with that we have to learn so many things okay so first of all we have to model this uh, uh, this truss we have to model this truss so you all know that it is it is the it is not the plan view it is not the plan view it is actually the elevation view it is what actually it is the elevation view and this uh, drawing and this uh, figure or uh, this geometry is actually uh, means uh, I am going to say it is in X and Z plane in X and Z plane let the quadrant as uh, this is your X this is I am going to call it as Y and you know that it has consider uh, vertical as Z so either you can consider this uh, 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 elevation view in this in this uh, plane X and Z plane or you can consider it as uh, x and z uh, x and z plane and y and z plane so you tell me in which plane you would like to consider it first x z x clear first thing so first thing to uh, make clear it is not the plan view it is what it is the elevation view so for uh, uh, it is what 2d pla uh, 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 plane x and kindly meet your mic is there okay x z plane it is now can you tell me how many grids will be in x direction and how many uh, grids will be in y direction uh, y with the equity why me to okay very good very good anyone else kisme x me x me kitne lag rahe hain 3 3 very good okay bataiye aur bataiye fast jaldi se aapko kitna instantly response karenge utni jaldi hum log aage badhenge okay why kitna sorry why me to kuch nahi kaha inhone एक्स में कितने हैं? हेलो तीन तीन दिख रहे हैं ओके एनी वन एल्स फाइव 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 ओके ओके लेट मी एक्सप्लेन देन यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दिस काइंडली म्यूट योर योर माइक ओके एक्चुअली first understand about x and z then i will let you know for the y direction what you have to consider okay so basically in x direction there are four grids in x direction there are four grids so it is what the elevation it is what the elevation this is the first level this is the second level and this is what the third level so who said uh, those who said uh, uh, three grids 
so they, i think they are considering this first second and third and this fourth what they have considered i don't know okay but uh, see in, in it is actually it is the elevation view it is what elevation so these are the levels so this first this second and this third but what i'm asking i'm asking about the in plan grids i'm asking about what in plan grids so if you look uh, this figure from the top if you look this figure from the top so it will be what it will be a uh, in plan this is the first this is the second this is the third and this is actually the fourth one so in plan first uh, this is the first so, uh, this second uh, second sorry like this and like this so this second this third and this is the fourth so it is in plan it is in x direction it is four then in y direction what in y direction this first line it is actually in y direction first line it is y if next is there next uh, 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 thrust is there that will be what second row if third is there that will be considered as a third row so first this this i am going to say that it is the one line that is in y direction and uh, means one grid is uh, along y and along x how many grids are 1 2 3 4 किसको नहीं समझ में आया अब ये बताइए हेलो नहीं समझा नहीं समझा ओके वेरी गुड सी माइक इन थ्री डी अभी देखिए दिस इज योर एक्स एंड वर्टिकल Uh, vertical is actually your sorry this is your x and this is vertical your z and this is your y okay so it is the 3d try to understand so uh, geometry is what like this okay first row of this is the first uh, uh, truss second truss next to this second truss is actually here again second truss likewise third truss will be in the same line there will be the th third truss like that mubashir is that all okay Yes, एक लाइन में ऐसा आपका ट्रस आएगा सारे yes. तभी ये आपका शेड बनेगा शेड आपने देखा है इंडस्ट्रियल शेड यस yes, सर देखा है देखा है ना ऐसे ही रहता है कुछ और रहता है गलत बता रहा हूँ मैं नहीं सही है सर ऐसा ही रहता है ओके चलिए अभी देखिए नाउ इन एक्स डायरेक्शन दिस इज वॉट आई एम सींग वॉट इट इज एक्स इट इज वॉट एक्स दिस इज वॉट योर वाई एंड ओवर दी हाइट इट इज जेड सो दिस आर दी लेवल दिस इज अ फर्स्ट लेवल This is the second level. This is the third level, and the fourth, fifth, sixth, like that, over the height. But if you are going to see in plan from the top, so how many grids will be there in x direction? So one grid. If you have to take your point here, so you need to make one grid. If you have to take one point here, you need to take one grid here. If you want to take one uh, one point here, you need to take one grid. Then here you need to take one grid. So these all grids, uh, it is along what? Hello. X. Yes, right? X. So direction. how many grids are there in plan? Four. Four grids are. And can I can I count this as a one more grid, one more grid, one more grid along X? Can I count this? Yes, count कर सकते हैं ना? नहीं कर सकते हैं क्यों? ये और height है ना ये level है आपका? अच्छा हाँ. ये level है. नहीं समझ रहे हो आप? नहीं समझ रहा आपको? This is what your level. this is not the uh, your plan it is over the height it is the elevation try to understand okay now along the y direction this is one line this is what second line this is what third line so if first truss is there so can i say in y direction there is a zero grid or i can i can say there is a one grid tell me zero is right or one is right one hello Sir, there is one line. One, one. Exactly. Okay. Yes, yes. So, this is what. Just come back to your class. Okay, first tell me unit system. Kindly mute your mic. 
unit system is what your uh, meter okay Me, uh, uh, see this is what in uh, 4 meter 4 meter 4 meter so that's why we have to proceed with metric si so clear this all metric si uh, go with the third option let's say simply okay and uh, number of grid lines in x direction is 4 number of grid lines in y direction it is what actually a uh, one, one. Uh, specimen of grids in x direction so it is uniform actually 4 meter 4 meter 4 meter so i'm going to put this as 4 meter and next uh, like uh, um, along the y actually one grid is there so uh, there's no matter what you are taking here but yeah i'm going to put here as one but you may say that uh, sir sh we should take zero value yeah you can do that but software will not uh, allow to put zero see i'm trying to put zero and uh, just move anywhere so see what error you are getting your your value must be greater than of zero so yeah anyhow you have to put as one this is done so i think we don't need to go to custom we don't need to go to custom our problem is going to be solved by the, by this implant definition is now over uh, four number of grids in x one number of grids in y and along x uniform spacing is there so four meter in y one meter is there so why it is needed to go for the custom so let it to be as it is now go back to your over height definition now the problem is comes to define over height definition try to understand it app software what actually doing it app software every time when you are going to create any project when you are going to start any project any work not project any work if you are going to uh, uh, start with the app software it app software will by default create the base level it app software will create the base level one level automatically it is going to create and what does mean by this base level it is the foundation level it is considering it to be what foundation level or a, a base level ground level got it uh, uh, either you ground level you can call it or under the ground level you can call it so actually this is what foundation level so uh, at what depth uh, your foundation level that you can define but this level will be created by automatically by the software so base will be there so one level is there every time then it is what next level and and then third level so actually how many levels are there this is the first second and third but in software how many levels we have to define only these two one will automatically will be there or not hello yes sir yeah so these two yes. levels we need to define so just go back to your number of stories it is what number of stories or number of levels what you would like to say so for the building normally we are calling it as stories but here for this example we are calling it as levels so put it here as what levels how many levels will be there two, two. okay typical story height i will talk more about it later typical story height means so two levels we need to define what does my typical story uh, it is similar to that of typical spacing in the grid the same concept is there jo hum logo ne discuss kiya tha ke uh, typical spacing means what the spacing that is going to be repeated uh, repeating okay the repeating spacing we are going to call it as what typical spacing same thing is over the height also agar over the height aap dekh rahe ho so ye ek story second story ye dono ke beech mein gap hai 3 meter yahan par bhi 3 meter yahan par bhi 3 meter then next level is at uh, 2.5 meter so typical spacing yahan par kya ho jayega aapka 3 meter there is no other definition okay that is as simple as that of your इन प्लान डेफिनेशन यहाँ पर हम लोगों ने टिपिकल स्पेसिंग जो कहा था वही टिपिकल स्टोरी लेवल वही चीज है सो जो चीजें रिपीट हो रही है ओवर हाइट वो कॉमन डेटा हम लोग यहाँ पर पुट करते हैं दैट इज कॉल्ड एज वॉट टिपिकल स्टोरी सिंपल टिपिकल स्टोरी हाइट जो मल्टीपल टाइम रिपीट हो रहा है सो न मल्टीपल टाइम रिपीट हम लोगों का यहाँ पर तो ऐसा कुछ केस है नहीं हम लोगों को तो मीजर करना है यहाँ पर डिस्टेंस मीजर करना है सो फर्स्ट फाइंड आउट द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन दिस टू लेवल this two level first check whether it is typical or not then we will go to put the value so let me know uh, uh, like uh, what will be the distance between this point to this point how you can calculate by the geometry it is what 2 meter it is what 2 meter half of this 4 is 2 and uh, i need to know uh, height of this uh, uh, height this height and this angle uh, it is actually given 30 degree so i think it is easy to find what is the formula tan theta is equal to 
height by base height by base so base will come on this side so your height will equal to base into tan theta and tan theta is what 30 so base is 2 meter 2 meter multiplied multiplied by tan 30 let me know the answer tan 30 2 times tan 30 always keep uh, your calci plus notebook 1.15 1.15 uh, uh, tell me up to 4 digits tell me up to 4 digits 1.1547 1.15 47 7 this is the first distance in meter second height i would like to know second height from this to this so but it will be difficult to find this height it will be uh, i think difficult to find this height directly so first what we will do we we will calculate total height total height then we'll uh, subtract this uh, uh, this height so you will get this remaining height balance height so how you can do that very simple again geometry will be same this height uh, we need to know and this angle is 30 degree and this this distance is going to become 4 plus 2 this half of this 4 is going to become 2 so total will become 6 meter this 30 degree 30 degree and uh, this height we need to know so the formula is what at this time 6 times 10 30 6 times 10 30 how much it is 3.4641 subtract this value from uh, from this value 1.1547 let me know the sorry 2.3094 wait h2 is actually 2.3094 Nine four. This is the second height from the first level and from the base to first level. It is one point one five four seven. Come back. Okay, let me know. It is typical or it is a uh, no. I mean, so it is. Dif uh, there is a difference. Difference. Difference is there. So yeah, bottom story. Uh, typical story height is actually uh, Two anything you can put here. So let it to be one meter. Actually, we have to walk over this. And bottom story height, I will talk about it later. So let it to be again one. Put it as a bottom story height. Bottom story height, okay. Let me explain partly. See, bottom story height means, yeah, ground level will be there. Suppose the ground level is there. If any real project, if you are going to deal. So from the ground level to the top of the footing, to the top of the footing, we are considering it as what? bottom story height as i told you what software will by default create the base level by default will create the base level so you have to put the this height this height and this is what the remaining height that is what typical story heights from here your structure is going to be start but below the ground this height you need to put and this height is called as what bottom story height but this is our not any kind of a project so what bottom story you can uh, say bottom story as this first one am i right or wrong right but uh, but don't worry about that let it to be again uh, sorry let it to be what one what to do with this i will let you know go to custom go to custom go to edit story data once you click over the edit story data this dialog box will open and here you can define everything this is what base so i can call it as base this is the first first level it is what second, second level and here first height is what from the base to first it is what 1.1547 and the second one is what uh, 2.3094 uh, cumulative height is going to become c 3.4641 it is exactly similar to your total calculation 3.4641 so it is what cross check it is what cross checks and don't worry about uh means uh, don't bother about these things let it to be as it is we will talk it la about later okay so let it to be as it is let's say simply okay this is all done in plant definition you have defined 
over the height definition you have completed now uh, you can't go with the blank because nothing will be there you have to go with the grids because we want to have the grids so take the grids option now simply say ok once you click over the ok so uh, this three window will be there uh, so first model explorer we don't need to have this right now close it now take it outside this is what your plan view and this is what 3d view but actually tell me uh, on which plane we have to work either plan view uh, plan view elevation view 3d view uh, we have to work over the elevation view so that's why what this two window is not useful for us it is a plan view it is a 3d view both are not useful for us actually we need to have the elevation view so for that what you need to do very important very interesting just look at this is the first grid along uh, see this is the y along y direction this is the grid these are the all x grid so i want to see the elevation along the grid first i want to see the elevation over the grid first then second thrust will be over the grid two third will be over the grid uh, third actually we have to see the elevation over the grid first so very simple the option will be given here as elevation otherwise go to view and in view elevation option will be there elevation option will be there just click over that and all the grid option is there either you can see the elevation of the structure through first grid you can see the elevation of uh, structure through second grid third grid fourth grid or you can see the elevation along the grid first so i want to see the elevation along the grid first check this one and let's uh, simply apply so your plan view is converted into elevation view along the grid first so this is what your elevation view now there's no need to have the 3d view close it uh, close it right now and uh, now it is what elevation view and once you see the elevation there only you will be able to see the labels of the level labels of the level so as you can see here it is what base here the first level second level whatever you have uh, given the label that will be available here base first second simple next we have to start the modeling after the completion of your grid i told you in the last session also we have to go for the modeling but before of modeling uh, you have to define so many things uh, then you can go for the modeling for any real project or for any project but actually here we are not going to define anything we are directly going to model okay so how to do the model try to understand Be here is all are the frame element all are the what line elements so for modeling of the line element you need to go to this actually while practicing while completing this exercise what i am saying just do that what i am saying just do that because we are not uh, here running in sequ in sequence uh, actually i will i will i will start the sequence after this exercise i will start the sequence after this exercise so whatever you are getting let it to be considered okay and uh, means uh, if you are whatever you are getting what is you are you are not getting uh, means uh, don't worry about it. okay so go to frame go to frame here the option is what frame so just go to this frame now what does my uh, mean by this all i will cover in in very detailed way these all things but right now just go to cl close it clear now we have to start the modeling so go to your it apps sorry your uh, this example and uh, see this is the first point this is the second point this is the third point okay so basically this is the first from the first okay i need to have the point here i need to have the point here look at your question is there any point to stop my line at the g is there any pass yes or no 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 sir no then what for that uh, actually i ha i can't take this uh, member completely from this point to this point actually there is a break this one member is separate this another member is separate this another member is separate this another member is separate so if you are trying to model it as one it will be wrong okay 
all the members are separate so this is the one member but i don't have any option so what to do that i will let you know but right now what i am going to do i am proceeding uh, by taking with this uh, uh, this as a single element iska kya karna hai baad mein main aage batata hu aap logo ko so i am going to take single element go back clear this all uh, take the frame and close it now from this first point freely move first point freely move you don't need to do anything just move your uh, mouse and uh, take it at a required point but uh, here i need to put it at the center of this bc check here at that center of this uh, yeah in the direction of this b here there is a c so in between of bc there is a central point but i am not able to get uh, the central point it's a problem for me how i can get that very very confusion without of a center i can't take anywhere i i can't put it anywhere because there will be a modeling error and i am not going to compromise with the modeling error so what i need to have the center point so okay to off this command to off this command right click on your mouse because i don't need to uh, stay long for with this command so say right click on your mouse so this command will be uh, this continuity will be off command is active continuity is off command is active see if i am going to again click on this first point again uh, with that command i can work but you don't want to uh, uh, means keep this continuity just right click on your mouse so the command is means uh, uh, continuity will be off command is active if i am going to click here again it will be but if you want to completely off this command just go to this select object option now the command is off hello see i'm 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 clicking here i'm clicking here but uh, means uh, nothing is hap happen okay hello yes sir yes sir now just go to this frame again so problem is what we are not getting the center point question is why so to have the center point the right click on your mouse Uh, on the screen anywhere again just right click on this uh, uh, on the on your screen with the mouse right button and uh, here the option is available snap option hello just go to snap option in that uh, this all things are there i will talk about in detail in command section but right now here line ends and midpoint option is there hello uh. check this option check this option Say apply. Now say okay. Then see center point you are getting midpoint. It's midpoint. It's midpoint. It's midpoint. It's midpoint. Here the midpoint. Here the midpoint. Here the midpoint. Is that all okay? Yes, sir. Yeah. Now go to frame again. Close it. This is the first point. Freely move to this center and then click over that. Unless and until you are not getting this right uh, red sign, okay? Don't click over that. Otherwise, there will be the possibility of modeling error. Keep in mind. Okay, right click anywhere to off this continuity. See, I am going to start from this point. But see, I am uh, see I am getting what uh, this this sign. Grid point C one second level. it's all in, uh, uh, means it's defining is uh, showing the definition of this joint this point so it is what actually it is the grid point where it is it is at the intersection of c and 1 it is actually at the intersection of c and 1 where it is it is actually at the second level are you getting everything yes sir so unless and until you are not getting this point don't click over that remember otherwise uh, means there will be modeling error so yeah see i am going to click here on first freely come to this point and then click over that this is done coming back to this at base then click over that because again i don't have a, uh, we don't have any joint here okay so take it as complete okay i am going to click here okay then uh, see your example now from d to c c to b b to a so don't try to do smart work here see don't try to do the smart work some of uh, you may think nothing that 
I will take from D to A directly. Don't be smart. Hello. We yes, had sir. to take the member from D to C, then C to D, sorry, C to B, and then B to A. Are you getting? Actually, you have to do the smart work, but don't try here. Okay. Yes. So, from base to this, here, click, then click here, then coming back to this, and then click here. Is that all okay? Then click here. So it is all done. Next. Now, from this point, uh, another member is there from B to G. So I can do that from B to G. Now I can put it here, B to G. At the intersection of this grid and this frame, at the intersection, we are getting the point. Now click over that. The midpoint. Right click, go to snap. Now off the midpoint option. Now say apply. Now say OK. Now trick the frame again. Close it. Here is the first point. This we are not getting here. Now. OK, right click, go to snap. Make it to be enable uh, end points and midpoint. Apply now. Close it. Clear this all. Now take the frame. Now close it from this to this. Click here midpoint. Now right click. Right click anywhere to off this continuity. But the command is active. I would like to take the help of this command. Active command. Click on this first. Really come to this point, click over that. Now I can use this continuity again. So take it back to this point. Now click here, and then again I will take the help of this continuity and take your line to this point and click over that. Is that all okay? Hello, yes, sir. yeah, okay. next. See. Types of the supports. What are the different types of supports? So there are two, uh, three types of support. One is your uh, roller support, roller support, so that the reaction will be only one. There will be what? Hinge support. So there will be two reaction. That is X and Y. And third will be what? Your uh, fixed support, fixed support. Uh, fixed support will have the uh, forces in. Uh, in both of the direction and in addition to the restraint again the movement so in roller support one reaction will be there in hinge support there will be two reaction in fixed support there will be what three reaction so i'm not going to talk about uh, this basic thing okay but i would like to show you see i don't have assigned any support it is the software already has uh, already has assigned the support here and this type of support is actually what hinge support software by default has assigned the hinge support so actually uh, till now we have not assigned any support we have not defined any support why the software uh, means uh, 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 automatically has assigned this support because whatever you are going to do at the base level software is will assign default as a hinge support to that point आप जो भी वर्क बेस पे करेंगे तो सॉफ्टवेयर वहां पर ऑटोमेटिकली एक हिंस सपोर्ट असाइन कर देगा मैंने आपको पहले ही कहा बेस वेयर सॉफ्टवेयर इज कंसीडर एज बेस सॉफ्टवेयर विल कंसीडर बेस एज अ फाउंडेशन लेवल बेस लेवल सो फाउंडेशन मींस सपोर्ट विल बी देयर सो इट इज व्हाट हिंज सपोर्ट ऑटोमेटिकली सॉफ्टवेयर विल असाइन द हिंज सपोर्ट सो वी वी डोंट हैव असाइन दिस एक्चुअली वी हैव नॉट असाइन दिस सॉफ्टवेयर ऑटोमेटिकली हैज असाइन दिस so what we need to do we need to uh, uh, first change the support condition where uh, wrong support assignment is there and we have to remove the uh, remove the support condition where it is not needed okay so look at your question see on the left hand side there is a hinge support on the right hand side there is a roller support so if you are going to see 
left hand side there is a hinge support and right hand side there is what again hinge support but we need to have the roller support so we have to select this joint we have to select uh, this joint so how to do the selection so uh, drag it okay uh, how you can do the selection so simply being this option select the option as say, uh, uh, checked or selected click on this joint simply once you click over this so look at this uh, uh, left hand side bottom when you are working with the tab software always your concentration on left bottom and right bottom got it so here on left bottom one joint is selected so there is a selection of one joint there is a selection of one joint this is the one way of making the selection clear this drag it from left to right red let the element to come inside of this box that you want to select again i just want to express i just want to explain uh, uh, the options of making the selection not only the join the option of making the selection of anything okay so if you want to select this join so what drag it from left to right let the element that you want to select uh, completely inside of this box if you are dragging from left to right so what the things is coming inside of this box completely actually see this frame this frame and this joint these three things are there but if i am dragging from this left to right so with this uh, what the things is coming completely inside of this box tell me joint sirf a joint aa raha hai aapka ye frame actually ye pura yahan se lekar wahan tak ke hai ye frame yahan se lekar yahan tak ke hai agar main yahan se aise karta hu to tab ye dono element bhi aa rahe hain uske andar aur bhi bahut sari cheeze aa rahi hain but abhi hum log focus is par karenge ye frame ke upar to agar main itni dur se agar ye drag karunga तो दोनों एलिमेंट आ रहे हैं मेरे उसके अंदर में और जॉइंट भी आ रहा है तो ये चीजें सेलेक्ट होगी बट इफ यू आर ड्रैगिंग फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर लाइक दैट सो इट इज कटिंग टू दिस एलिमेंट्स दैट इज नॉट कंप्लीटली कमिंग इनसाइड सो देर विल बी नो एनी इफेक्ट टू दिस मेंबर ओनली द थिंग्स विच इज कंप्लीटिंग विच इज कमिंग इन ऑफ दिस बॉक्स कंप्लीटली दैट विल बी सिलेक्टेड ऑनली सो आई एम गोइंग टू लिफ्ट इट ओके हाउ टू डू दिस ड्रैग फ्रॉम ड्रैग बाई क्लिकिंग हियर एंड लिफ्ट हियर समवेयर so your joint will be selected what the thing is selected one joint only hello yes sir okay yes, sir. now yes, sir. same thing i am trying to do from right side first i tried tried it from left side now i am trying from right side so click on this and drag it from right to left see but in this case what all the things which is completely coming inside of this box that will be selected plus All the things which is going to be cut by this box that will also be selected. अब बताइए क्या क्या select होगा इसमें? Of the two member is joined. Joined member. Yes. यहाँ से देखिए ये दो member cut हो रहे हैं और ये तो ठीक है देखते हैं हम लोग क्या होता है. One joint, two frame. Understood? Hello. Yes sir. Yes, sir. आपको बता दिया किस तरीके से आपको सिलेक्शन करना है तो ठीक है अभी ये ज्वाइंट को मुझको सिलेक्ट करना है बिकॉज ज्वाइंट आप सपोर्ट आप मेंबर के ऊपर नहीं लगाते हो सपोर्ट इज फॉर योर ज्वाइंट तो हम लोग ज्वाइंट को सिलेक्ट करना है सो ड्रैक फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट सो क्या होता है कि अगर आप यहाँ पे ऐसे क्लिक करने जाते हो तो बाय मिस्टेक मेरा मेंबर पे भी सिलेक्ट क्लिक हो सकता है देखिए हो गया मेंबर रॉन्ग सो इसीलिए कैसा है ये वे आप फॉलो करिए सिलेक्शन के लिए ओके सो ज्वाइंट इज सिलेक्टेड वन एंड ऑलवेज मेक श्योर दैट द थिंग इज सिलेक्टेड एज पर योर रिक्वायरमेंट एज पर योर लाइक एक्शन जो आप चाहते हो वही सिलेक्शन होना चाहिए तो उसके लिए इंश्योर करना है आपको ऑलवेज योर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑन बी ऑन बी लेफ्ट एंड बॉटम साइड सो वन ज्वाइन ओके और राइट right साइड बॉटम में भी होना चाहिए वो कब लगेगा आपको मैं आगे बताऊंगा ओके सो ड्रैग इट फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट लेट सी वन जॉइंट इज इन सिलेक्शन गुड देन वी हैव टू चेंज द सपोर्ट सो इट इज वन काइंड ऑफ असाइनमेंट हमें अभी हम लोग डिफाइन देखे या कुछ एडिट देख रहे थे ना अब हम लोगों को कुछ चीज असाइन करना है तो आपको कहाँ मिलेगा 
इन असाइन सेक्शन ये सारी चीज़ें क्विक एक्सेस में भी अवेलेबल है लेकिन हम क्विक एक्सेस में थोड़ा बाद में आएंगे अभी पहले ये टॉप मेन मेन्यू बार से आप बेसिक प्रैक्टिस करिए सो गो टू असाइन इन असाइन ज्वाइंट ऑप्शन इज देयर सो ज्वाइंट इन ज्वाइंट इन ज्वाइंट रिस्ट्रेंस आर देयर गो टू रिस्ट्रेंस सो बाय दिस डेफिनेशन ऑफ रिस्ट्रेंस ऑल द ऑप्शन आर अवेलेबल बट डोंट फोकस ऑन दैट just uh, look at this the uh, means uh, figure is there so we want to have the roller support check this roller one so only vertical restraint is there so translational along z direction is restrained so that option is checked only so check the roller let's uh, simply apply so there will be what roller support is that all okay okay <coughs> next After this, we have to remove this support. Drag it from left to right. This joint is selected. Drag it from left to right. This joint is selected. So make that. Uh, make sure that two joints should be there only. Yeah. We have to remove this support. Go to assign. Go to joint. Go to restraints and uh, make it as none. First fixed. Second hinged. Then roller. And this is what nothing. So just go to none. and let's a simply apply so it is what apply and it is not closed and let's a simply okay is that all clear yes sir yes. okay now after that uh, we have to correct this modeling because from this point to this point this is a single element from this point to this point is single element which is wrong actually we have to break it at this point actually we have to break it at this joint at this connection okay so first select the frame very simple very interesting first select the frame that you want to break or divide plus select the joint or the point at which you want to break it not getting select the frame that you want to break select the joint that you want to uh, uh, at at which that you want to break this frame these two things we have to do and then after that go to edit in edit option go to edit frame it is what the frame element so go to edit frame here divide frames click over that and three options are there just go with the second one break at intersections with selected frame and join break the things uh a uh, break at intersection this is what the intersection of this frame and this frame intersection point we have uh, we have uh, uh, defined we have selected that joint and this frame so that is what actually written here uh break at intersection with selected frame and joint and let's uh, simply apply now see this is the first and now this is what the second hello yes sir yes sir okay same thing on this side select the frame select the join then go to us edit go to edit frame go to divide frame and go with the second option and let's say simply apply and now say okay it is now divided in two parts is that all okay okay so yes. we have divided the frame now every every frame has connected at their ends only now every frames are separate okay next part is what after that we have to uh like assign the loading we have to assign the loading to the joints so what loadings are there so yeah it is actually the uh, result uh, 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 resultant value okay it is the reaction so uh, don't consider this these are the reactions okay we have to focus this assignments only this 3 meter kilo newton on this g and this is 2 kilo newton and this is what 3 kilo newton these assignments we need to do okay so just go back to e tabs so how many types of loadings what are the different types of loading so there is what point load there is what point load this is a one type of load second is what line load line load it will be in kilonewton 
it will be what line load is actually what kilo newton per meter per meter that we are calling as uh, means uh, example is what your wall load okay and third is what your area load area area load over the area that you are assigning that is kilo newton per meter square, square. okay so Go these ahead. three kinds of uh, three types of loading will be all this uh, uh, over all this type of loading we will practice so in point load it is simple as point simple point load will be line load will be what that will be either uniformly distributed load or it may be uniformly varying load this uh, two types of load will be there for the for the line load okay so uniformly distributed load means what from one point to another point from one point to another point the intensity of the loading will be same but if the intensity of the loading from one point to another point is going to be changed so we are going to call it as what and in in equal proportion in equal proportion okay in equal in increment not proportion in equal increment okay is uh, in uniform increment then we are going to call uh, uniformly varying load okay and uh, if uh, the uh, kindly mute your mic who is there please Ready, please mute your mic, please. I cannot understand. Kindly, please, um, Harry, sir. Okay. So it is uniform, and then is what? Uh, uh, uniform. This is uh, uniformly distributed for load. It is uniformly varying load. And third, if uh, the loading is what like this, like this kind of loading is there. So it is what totally varying load. There is no uniformity is there over the variation. Okay, so it is totally varying load. It is non-uniform load, uh, uniformly varying load, or it is what uniformly distributed load. Same loading, uh, uh, with uh, uniform variation uh, means no any defined variation. This is what varying load. Okay, so these two types of most commonly uh, considered type of uh, uh, line load. Uniformly distributed load, uniformly varying load, and is what aerial load means. What the load that you are going to assign over the slab, over the area, we are going to call it as what uniformly distributed load. Okay, so uh, we will practice with all this kind of uh, loading and all this kind of loading you can assign in the ATAP software over your structure. Okay, but for the concerned example, we have to talk about the point load. So we have to assign the point load over this joint. We have to assign the load over the joint. Remember, we have to assign the load over the joint, not over the frame. Again, I am repeating. We have to assign this load over the joint, not over the frame. Remember, so just go to trust uh, this example and first select this joint. I have to select this joint, drag it from left to right. So one joint is selected. Go to assign because it is what assignment. So go to assign. Once you click over the assign, so it is what joint load, frame load, or shell means area load. What it is? Tell me. Hello. Joint load. Very load. good. Go to joint. Then what you want to assign? Force. force. So go to force. Under this, this is what load pattern. So actually, बहुत सारी चीजें मुझको इसमें discuss करना है, but अभी नहीं करने जाऊँगा मैं उसको. तो यहाँ पर आप सिर्फ ध्यान में रखिए, इसको change करके live कर देना है. Understood. Hello. Yes, sir. Okay. सिर्फ इतना ध्यान रखिए yes, इसके ऊपर आगे बहुत डिटेल में डिस्कशन होगा ये बड़ा टॉपिक है उसको मैं आगे लूंगा लोड पैटर्न विल बी वॉट लोड पैटर्न नेम विल बी वॉट लाइफ टेक इट देन फोर्स ग्लोबल एक्स ग्लोबल एक्स फोर्स इन ग्लोबल वाई फोर्स इन ग्लोबल जेड जेड मीन्स वर्टिकल वी हैव टू असाइन द लोड इन वर्टिकल डायरेक्शन सो इन ग्लोबल जेड सो इट इज वॉट Uh, in upward direction or downward direction so actually the loading is, loading is downward direction so it will what negative value so i need to put first minus then what much uh, how much intensity is there so yeah 3 kilo newton go back uh, with this close it minus 3 downward direction the option here it is checked the replace existing load uh, let it to be as it is now simply say apply uh, simply say okay simply say okay is that all okay is it right 
Hello. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. But you have, uh, you might have noticed that. Uh, uh, see, I have to use that same window again. मुझको अभी वहाँ यही सेम विंडो को फिर से अगेन अगेन करना था डायलॉग बॉक्स को असाइनमेंट के लिए यहाँ पर भी मुझको असाइन करना है यहाँ पर भी असाइन करना है वो डायलॉग बॉक्स चला गया फिर से मुझको उसको लाना पड़ेगा तो ओके ठीक है देखते हैं ड्रैग इट फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट सेलेक्ट द ज्वाइन देन गो टू असाइन देन गो टू ज्वाइंट लोड गो टू फोर्स एंड फॉर द लाइव नाउ फॉर द राइट हैंड साइड हाउ मच लोडिंग इज देयर अगेन थ्री किलो रिटर्न so let it to be minus 3 and uh, with all these things as it is let's say simply okay so yeah the loading has been uh, uh, assignment has been done okay ab mujhko fir yahan se karna hai fir se mujhko wo uh, dialog box ko lana padega are you getting my point yes, bar bar mujhko wahi karna pad raha hai to dekhiye ab iska solution acha ye sare steps ko loading ko main matlab piche jana back side jana hai mujhko uh, means control x jo hum log dete hain control z बैक होना है हम लोगों को सो दैट इज व्हाट अंडू सो अंडू वन स्टेप बैक देन अगेन वन स्टेप बैक ओके ओके अगेन सिलेक्ट दिस ज्वाइन देन गो टू असाइन देन गो टू ज्वाइंट लोड गो टू फोर्स नाउ सी हियर व्हाट इफ यू हैव टू यूज द सेम ऑप्शन अगेन एंड अगेन सो डोंट क्लिक ओवर ओके Don't click over the okay. So what will happen? Assignment will be done. Whatever you want to do, that will be done, and this window will be off. But if you want to keep it to be present, so what you need to do? Just simply say apply only. Hello. Yes, sir. So this window will be there. Hello. Assignment has been done, but window is available here. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Drag it from left to right. Select the join. Then again, select simply say apply. That is also done. Drag it from left to right. This joint is selected. Make sure that one joint is there. Now here the intensity of the loading is what two kilo newton. So change it to what two. Change it to what two. And let's just simply apply. Clear. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. So in this way, now you can say okay. It will now off. No problem. But one more thing we have to learn from that window. Uh, go to assign and go to join. Go to force. Okay, this window is now available. So try to understand what does mean by these three options. Don't focus to this. It is not. It is a part of uh, like a design of foundation. So it is not needed to learn here. Just focus to this. Okay, and this will be available in every kind of load assignment. Okay, so first try to understand here. so what does mean by replace existing load so suppose here by mistake i have assigned suppose to this joint by mistake i have assigned 2 kN actually here we have to assign 5 kN so how you can do that so select this joint again one joint and uh, by, it should actually what 5 kN so i want to replace it from 2 to what directly 5 from 2 to directly 5 new value i want to have so by selecting this say simply apply okay done yes sir hello but my intention is not to directly delete and I, my intention is not to directly replace it i want to add uh, uh 3 km more to this so 5 plus 3 will become what 8 i want to put here 8 km <coughs> so the option is available what add to existing load drag it over this point select the join or you want to operate it select the join and make the option to be selected as add to existing load and here put minus 3 so yahan par jo already pehle se hai usme kitna add ho jayega 3 3 let's say apply so it is going to become 8 okay by mistake i have assign here 8 i actually want to have 20 to kitna aur add karna padega mujhko isme 12 12 check this 12 drag it from left to right but make sure that this first option is checked add to existing let's apply so it is not 20 understood yes sir acha kam karna hai mujhko 20 to 15 chahiye to ye minus hai to main kya karta hu yahan par plus 5 kar deta hu minus 20 plus 5 kitna bachega 
फिफ्टीन फिफ्टीन वॉट क्या फिफ्टीन वॉट माइनस और प्लस 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 माइनस ट्वेंटी है माइनस ट्वेंटी यू आर गोइंग टू पुट प्लस फाइव कितना बचेगा माइनस फिफ्टीन सो सिलेक्ट दिस ज्वाइंट एंड एक्चुअली आई वांट टू हैव डाउनवर्ड फिफ्टीन हियर सो मैं यहाँ प्लस कर दूंगा अप्लाई करता हूँ देखिए प्लस फिफ्टीन बचता है सो लाइक दैट एड एग्जिस्टिंग लोड ऑप्शन यू कैन यूज एंड लास्ट वन इज वॉट डायरेक्टली डिलीट सिलेक्ट दिस ज्वाइंट Over this joint, whatever the load is there, you can delete by this option directly. Say apply, that will be deleted. So select this joint again. Make sure the replace option is there and change it to what minus two downward two. Let's say apply. Is that all clear or not? Yes, yes sir. Yes, clear. Clear. Good. Now this is all done. Clear this all, and uh, yeah, assignment has been done, and model is now completed. now we have to check our model is right or wrong so to check your model go to analyze abhi dekhiye har step se pehle kuch step hogi fir step perform karenge aur step ke baad fir ek step hogi so actually three steps are associated with every action hello can you repeat it once kya kaha maine step fir step fir step okay one is before of action then you have to do the step or action will be there then after that again one step will be means what if you are talking about the modeling so before of modeling one step will be that will what definition and after the modeling there will be what check likewise if you are talking about the analysis so before of analysis some definition you need to set then you have to perform the analysis then after the analysis check will be there then if you are talking about the design so before of the design some setting will be then you have to perform the design then after design check will be understood to abhi hum logo ne kya kiya model abhi actually structure to hum log deal nahi kar rahe isliye hum logo ne koi cheez abhi define nahi actually define ne bahut kuch karna hota hai lekin abhi wo abhi hum log real project kuch kar nahi rahe hain koi model nahi bana rahe hain hum logo ko dusra kaam karna hai तो ये पहले मॉडलिंग से पहले सपोज हम लोगों ने डेफिनेशन सेट कर दिया फिर हम लोगों ने मॉडल क्रिएट किया अब मॉडल क्रिएट करने के बाद आपको चेक करना पड़ेगा वेदर योर मॉडल इज राइट और रॉन्ग आप ब्लाइंडली मूव नहीं कर सकते हो सो यू हैव टू चेक योर मॉडल कि आपने मॉडलिंग कंप्लीट किया है कि वो राइट है कि नहीं तब आप एनालिसिस से लिया जा सकते हो ओके okay? फिर एनालिसिस परफॉर्म करके फिर आपको चेक करना है कि आपका एनालिसिस राइट है कि रॉन्ग है फिर एनालिसिस होने के बाद प्रूफ होने के बाद फिर डिजाइन के लिए जा सकते हो और डिजाइन के बाद फिर आपको चेक करना पड़ेगा सो एट एवरी स्टेज यू हैव टू चेक योर सेल्फ एंड सॉफ्टवेयर रिजल्ट अंडरस्टूड यस सर ओके तो अभी मॉडल में क्या प्रॉब्लम हो सकता है चेक क्यों कर रहे हैं कि मॉडल में मॉडलिंग में आपका कुछ एरर तो नहीं है इज देर एनी एरर इन योर मॉडल इज देर एनी मिस्टेक यू डिड इन इन द मॉडलिंग ओके सो गो टू एनालाइज गो टू चेक मॉडल वंस यू क्लिक ओवर द चेक मॉडल ऑल दीज ऑप्शन वॉट टॉलरेंस Up to one mm, we are going to allow the error. One mm is very very minor, so that much uh, tolerance is there. And for the joint checks, uh, for the frame checks, uh, for the shell checks, uh, okay, these all checks are there. I will let you know in detail later. So, all checks we have to perform for our model. कहीं पर कुछ भी हम लोगों को error नहीं चाहिए. The option है कि आप manually सब को select कर सकते हो, या फिर simply यहाँ से select all, deselect all कर सकते हो. तो select all कर दीजिए. सारे सिलेक्ट हो जाएंगे एक टाइम में सारे डी सिलेक्ट हो जाएंगे ओके लेट्स से सिंपली ओके वंस यू क्लिक ऑर दी ओके देन चेकिंग इज डन हैज बीन डन मॉडल हैज बीन चेकड नो वार्निंग मैसेजेस इज देयर योर मॉडल इज नो परफेक्ट वंस मोर गो टू एनालाइज गो टू चेक मॉडल सिलेक्ट ऑल ऑफ दिस चेक दिस ऑप्शन आल्सो लेट्स से सिंपली ओके तो हियर इट इज प्रोसेसिंग एंड विल टेल यू Whether it, whether they are modeling error or not, model has been checked. No warning messages are there. Now it's all okay. Close it. Clear? So we can move for the analysis. Now to start your analysis, go to analyze. Go to analyze. Okay. Before of that, before of that, before the analysis, one step you need to do. Go to define. 
go to load pattern go to load mm, okay little to be as it is a little to be as it is now perform the analysis directly perform the analysis to start the analysis what go to analyze and here a run analysis option is there run analysis option click over that once you click over that it is first asking to save your model so i'm going to save this anywhere save this model first now analysis will start and after some time it will show you the analysis result so it is what we are having what analysis result is it visible hello yes, yes sir okay. yes. now just click over start animation here start animation It is what deformed shape of your structure under the application of loading. It is the deformed shape of your structure under the application of loading, and this is what animated shape of your structure under the loading. How 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 it will be and uh, uh, it will be okay. So stop. So till uh, you might have seen uh, uh, means uh, that might have in your knowledge that uh, your roller support can move only in horizontal direction. your hinge support will not move in any translational direction okay so this is what practical like uh, demonstration i can say one kind of so see roller is moving what along the translational direction only abhi tak aapne sirf study kiya hoga yahan pe dekhiye move hai okay hello yes sir okay and here on yes, hello okay now it is what deformed shape of your structure if you are taking your cursor to any point it will show you all the things about that point so it is what uh, in x direction story this point is the joint 6 it is at story first and uh, in x direction it is point not 71 displacement is there in y point there is no displacement in uh, y direction in z direction there is a minus point 01 minus 0.171 means downward direction x y and uh, this is upward or downward it will be what z so if i am taking my cursor to this joint so it is showing what all the deformation of all the information about the deformed all the information about deformed joint okay resultant value so ux ui uz rx ry these are the moment rx means what moments about x moment about y moment about z so basically this joint uh, like uh, suppose if you are talking about this joint so ye x mein kitna move ho raha hai 0.05 mm in y there is no displacement in z z mein sabse zyada aapka displacement because hum logo ne gravitational load lagaya hua hai so obviously joint aapka niche hi jayega ये इस डायरेक्शन में नहीं जाएगा उस डायरेक्शन में नहीं जाएगा आपने लोडिंग डाउनवर्ड लगाया तो नीचे ही शिफ्ट होगा आपका पॉइंट सो दैट इज व्हाट द प्रूफ योर जॉइन इज शिफ्टिंग डाउन ओके बेसिकली आफ्टर दैट सो व्हाट डज मीन बाय दिस व्हाई यू आर गेटिंग दिस सिक्स रिस्पांस वैल्यू हियर बिकॉज इट इज व्हाट थ्री मॉडल इट इज वॉट एक्चुअली थ्री मॉडल लेट मी शो यू इन थ्री व्यू सो इट इज वॉट द मॉडल ओके सो ईच ज्वाइंट is having 6 degree of freedom each joint will have 6 degree of freedom degree of freedom means what this joint can move in uh, can move in 6 directions can move in 6 directions what that uh, that will be in translational x direction means this joint can move can move this joint can move ये ज्वाइन कहाँ जा सकता था यहाँ जा सकता है यू एक्स दिस ज्वाइन कैन मूव इन वाई डायरेक्शन ट्रांसलेशनल वाई डायरेक्शन दिस ज्वाइन कैन मूव इन जेड डायरेक्शन अप और डाउन थ्री डायरेक्शन दिस देर विल बी आर एक्स मूवमेंट अबाउट एक्स एक्सिस रोटेशन अबाउट एक्स एक्सिस 
दिस जॉइंट कैन मूव अबाउट वाई रोटेशन अबाउट वाई एक्सिस देन रोटेशन अबाउट जेड एक्सिस आर जेड हाउ मेनी डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम्स आर देयर हेलो अभी क्लियर हो गया हेलो ओके वेरी गुड सो इसलिए ये जॉइंट पर आपको सिक्स रिजल्ट दिख रहे हैं किसी भी जॉइंट पर आपको सिक्स रिजल्ट मिलेंगे ओके ना ओके आफ्टर दैट व्हाट वी हैव टू डू यस एनालिसिस हैज बीन डन नाउ गो टू इलिवेशन अलोंग द ग्रिड फर्स्ट लेट्स सिंपली अप्लाई एंड आई वांट टू सी द एक्चुअल रिएक्शन एट द बेस ऑफ अंडर दिस सपोर्ट आई वांट टू सी द रिएक्शन अंडर दिस सपोर्ट सो व्हाट इज द रिजल्ट here it is 4 kilo newton here on both of the direction it is 4 on both of the points it is a re uh, reaction is what 4 kilo newton 4 kilo newton let's check your software is giving the right result or not so to to see the result go to display under this display force stress diagram under this option support or spring reaction so just click over this and under which load pattern we have assigned the load under the live so check it as live and I want to see the result in arrow format, in arrow, and I want to see only in Z direction. Let's say simply apply. Once you click over the apply, so see here the value is four, here the value is four. So is it right or wrong? Right. Okay. So reaction is correct. Reaction is correct. Next, I have to see the forces in each member of this truss. Either tension or compression. So see, resultant value as uh, means uh, uh, actual values are actually available here. In A to B, in A to B, force is what six point nine two eight kilo newton, and nature of the force is tensile. B to C is three point four six. Nature is tensile, and D to C tensile. A to G eight compression. So we need to see whether it is uh, your result of the software validating with the manual calculation or not. Go to it apps. Go to display. Force stress diagram. अच्छा ये सारे lines आपके frame element है या shell element है? Fast. Frame element. Okay. The force stress diagram. Go to frame element. I want to see actual forces. Under the live load pattern, make sure that this should be what live, live, actual forces. I would like to see. Don't consider all of these other things. This is the part of uh, tomorrow's discussion. Okay, I will cover it tomorrow. Okay, but right now, uh, see, uh, actual force. I want. I want to see actual force. Okay, live load pattern, because we have assigned the load under the live load pattern. Actual force. Uh, fill diagram. show value this option i want to see the frame result let's say simply apply once you click over the apply so see this kind of results we are having again go to display go to force stress diagram go to frame and see if i am not checking this not checking this show values at controlling point then say apply so aapko values nahi show karega sirf color show kar raha hai हेलो यस सर अब आप कहेंगे सर वैल्यूज नहीं है कलर क्यों शो कर रहा है कलर भी शो करने की उसकी जरूरत नहीं है बट दे इज सम इम्पोर्टेंस विद दिस कलर कलर इंडिकेट्स दैट द टाइप नेचर ऑफ द फोर्स कलर इंडिकेट्स दैट द नेचर ऑफ योर एक्चुअल फोर्स रेड कलर मींस कॉम्प्रेसिव फोर्स येलो कलर मींस tensile force is that all okay okay <clears throat> so fill diagram then if you want to see the uh, values also so actually if you are take your cursor over this line so you, you will get the result 5.19 kN in this force uh, and yellow means it is what tensile or compressive tensile tensile and over this 4.3926 Uh, uh, red is there plus negative value is also there if you are if you are able to see okay of this color and uh, say apply take my, my see minus are you getting minus value hello yes minus 4.392 here minus 
minus six point four uh, four five nine four. Here everything five point one nine five two. Okay, so this value we are getting. But if you are if you like to have the color, if you also like to have the uh, 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 values of the uh, forces over the controlling points, let's just check this two and say apply. It will be like this. 4.9, 4.9. So this is the way, but that is not our intention. Our main intention is to check, cross check with your calculation. So in A to B, how much force is there? 6.928, and nature is tensile. So in software result, nature is matching or not? Matching. Match. But what about the value? Here it is uh, 6.9, almost 7. And what result we are getting? 5.19 means almost 5. So actual result is 7, and you are getting 5. So will you accept this result? चलिए बताइए सॉफ्टवेयर का रिजल्ट पर आप ट्रस्ट करेंगे कि नहीं करेंगे? No. हम नहीं कर सकते हम two kilo newton का तो difference है. Output गलत ही होंगे. इनपुट गलत ही होंगे हम लोगों ने तो सब चीजें सही की हुई है चलिए वो ठीक है मैं अभी ये क्वेश्चन ये कर रहा हूँ कि आप एक्सेप्ट करेंगे इसको विल यू एक्सेप्ट दिस अनिर्बान सर संजय विवेक नो नहीं एक्सेप्ट करेंगे सर दोनों वैल्यू मैच तो होनी चाहिए एटलीस्ट तो दो का डिफरेंस है ना एक्सेप्ट कर लो उसको नो सर नहीं करेंगे दोनों वैल्यू मैच करनी चाहिए वो मैनुअल कैलकुलेशन भी और सॉफ्टवेयर कैलकुलेशन तो थोड़ा सा तो डिफरेंस आ रहा है ना नहीं सर ऐसा थोड़ी चलेगा या तो मैनुअल कैलकुलेशन कहीं गलत हो गई उसको चेक करना पड़ेगा नहीं मैनुअल कैलकुलेशन तो सही है मैनुअल कैलकुलेशन तो सही है ओके मैनुअल कैलकुलेशन तो सही है ओके ओके सर क्यों एक्सेप्ट करेंगे चलिए ओके ठीक है बात करते हैं हम लोग इस पर इधर देखिए कितना थ्री पॉइंट फोर एट सेवन बी टू आई थिंक सी चेक लेट मी चेक या बी टू सी कितना थ्री पॉइंट फोर सेवन सॉरी फोर सिक्स वी आर गेटिंग एंड हियर वी आर गेटिंग थ्री पॉइंट फोर एट विल यू एक्सेप्ट दिस संजय हेलो यहाँ पर एक्सेप्ट करेंगे ना आप अच्छा यहाँ पर देखते हैं तो यहाँ पर 6.4594, 6.45, ओके सो बट इन आवर कैलकुलेशन ए टू जी देयर वी आर गेटिंग 6.4, पॉइंट फोर देयर वी आर गेटिंग एट सो ऑलमोस्ट वन पॉइंट फाइव डिफरेंस इज देयर विल यू एक्सेप्ट दिस संजय नो सर सारे काफी ओके जी टू एफ जी टू एफ इज वॉट जी टू एफ वेयर इट इज या It is five kilo newton G to F and uh, compression nature is there. E tabs क्या show कर रहा है आपको compression okay acceptable और वहाँ पर five मिल रहा है यहाँ पर four point three so accept करेंगे आप no sir no sir थोड़ा बहुत तो difference है accept कर लो नहीं करेंगे sir तो फिर कैसे क्या अभी तो हम लोगों ने जो सारी steps correct लिए हुए हैं What is the problem, sir? Uh, due to the finite element method and our uh, conventional method different. Differences, okay. Yes, acha okay. Sir, maybe connections. Sorry. Maybe connections. क्या connection का क्या problem है? वो joints के connections का कुछ नहीं होगा सब. अच्छा. Sir, vein load का तो नहीं कुछ है. वहाँ पे कहाँ चले गए आप? ओके ओके लेट मी क्लेरिफाई दिस ऑल थिंग्स एक अजम्पशन था हम लोगों ने लिया था जॉइंट्स को सपोर्ट ओके 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 लेट मी एक्सप्लेन वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द अजम्पशंस व्हाट वाज द अजम्पशंस द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट आई टोल्ड यू द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट अजम्पशन इज व्हाट मेंबर्स आर कनेक्टेड एट देयर एंड्स ओके और द मेंबर्स आर कनेक्टेड एट देयर एंड्स बाय द pinned or hinged connection by the what pinned or hinged connection means this joint will not carry any movement 
the joint will not carry any movement means if the joint is not carrying any movement it will transfer more stress to your member it will transfer to more st more stress to member agar aapka joint kuch kuch uh, like uh, 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 strength bear kar raha hai कुछ कुछ रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ले रहा है तो यहाँ मेंबर से आपके स्ट्रेस कम हो जाएंगे अगर आपका सपोर्ट आपका जॉइंट जॉइंट कुछ स्ट्रेस कैरी कर ले रहा है सो मेंबर से थोड़ा रिलीज हो जाएगा इफ देर इज सपोर्ट विद यू एनी फॉर एनी वर्क सो योर वर्क विल बी व्हाट योर योर मीन्स स्ट्रेस विल बी व्हाट लेस इफ वन पर्सन इज डूइंग वन थिंग सो टोटल स्ट्रेस हैज टू बी कैरीड बाय दैट पर्सन बट इफ देर इज टू पर्सन तो स्ट्रेस इज गोइंग टू बी वॉट रिड्यूज एम राइट same thing happening here it is what the fixed point uh, uh, at the at the intersecting point if joint is not carrying anything so what entire stress is going to be transferred to this member so agar aap ye result dekhenge jo difference hum logo ko mil raha hai to software mein software mein jo result mil raha hai wo aapke manual calculation se kam mil raha hai aap notice kariye is cheez ko manual mein a to b 6 hai almost 7 hai to aapko software mein kitna mil raha hai फाइव हेलो यहाँ कम मिल रहा है अच्छा यहाँ पर कितना है सिक्स पॉइंट फोर सिक्स पॉइंट फोर यहाँ पर आपको आ, कम मिल रहा है और मैनुअल कैलकुलेशन में क्या मिल रहा है आपको ए टू जी एट मिल रहा है तो मैनुअली ज्यादा मिल रहा है सॉफ्टवेयर में कम मिल रहा है मीन्स वॉट आपका ज्वाइंट कुछ स्ट्रेस कैरी कर ले रहा है हेलो यस सर यस सर आर यू वेडिंग सो यूर ज्वाइंट इज एक्चुअली नॉट पिनड ये अजम्पन आपका यहाँ पर नहीं हो रहा है जो हम लोगों ने एक अजम्पन योर ज्वाइंट शुड बी वॉट पिनड मीन्स दैट शुड ट्रांसफर ओनली दी एक्शुअल स्ट्रेसेस और एक्शुअल फोर्सेस और ज्वाइंट कुछ स्ट्रेस कैरी नहीं करना चाहिए टोटल लोड ट्रांसफर करना चाहिए और एज अ एक्शुअल लोड ट्रांसफर करना चाहिए प्लस ज्वाइंट को कुछ मूवमेंट कैरी नहीं करना चाहिए सो so एक्चुअली यहाँ पर सॉफ्टवेयर आप देखिए कंक्लूडिंग पॉइंट मैं आप लोगों को दे रहा हूँ जब भी आप मॉडलिंग करेंगे एक पॉइंट से दूसरा ज्वाइंट और या किसी मेंबर पर भी आप अगर एक लाइन लेकर पुट करेंगे दो मेंबर को कनेक्ट करेंगे सो इट एप सॉफ्टवेयर विल कंसीडर दिस ज्वाइंट एज अ फिक्स्ड ज्वाइंट रिजिड ज्वाइंट सो दिस ज्वाइंट इज एक्चुअली कैरिंग द मूवमेंट इट इज नॉट एक्टिंग एज अंज पिन कनेक्शन ओके सो वी नीड टू डू दी मॉडिफिकेशन सो अभी मैं क्या बता रहा था आपका ये मेंबर है और ये ज्वाइंट आपने ऐसा कभी भी मॉडलिंग किया इटैच में सो ये ज्वाइंट को आपका सॉफ्टवेयर क्या कंसीडर करता है आइदर फिक्स्ड और मींस रिजिड ज्वाइंट और फिक्स्ड ज्वाइंट बोथ द थिंग्स आर सेम फिक्स्ड और रिजिड मींस दिस फिक्स सपोर्ट मींस व्हाट इट विल कैरी दी मूवमेंट सो ये ज्वाइंट आपका मूवमेंट कैरी करता है ये रिजिड ज्वाइंट आपका मूवमेंट कैरी करता है ओके इट इज गोइंग टू इट इज अलाइंग सम स्ट्रेस इट इज कैरिंग सम स्ट्रेस it is taking a part to uh, uh, resist the load it is taking a part to bear the load whatever you are going to assign so jab bhi aap modeling karenge end par connect kariye do point ko yahan se ek naya frame lijiye jab bhi joint create hoga this will act as a hinged uh, sorry rigid or fixed means it will carry the movement so actually yahan par wahi problem ho raha hai ki aapka ye stress kuch carry kar le raha hai सो so, पहले अब आप, आप, आपको एडिट करना है इसका सोल्यूशन क्या है वो मैं बताता हूँ सो फर्स्ट वी नीड टू अनलॉक योर मॉडल इफ यू वांट टू डू एनी मॉडिफिकेशन इन योर मॉडल ओके सो फर्स्ट यू नीड टू अनलॉक बिकॉज एनालिसिस हैज बीन डन एनालिसिस हो गया आपका आप कुछ मॉडल आप कुछ एडिटिंग नहीं कर सकते हो एडिटिंग करेंगे तो आपको फिर से एनालिसिस करना पड़ेगा तो उसके लिए पहले अनलॉक करेंगे सो फर्स्ट अनलॉक योर मॉडल इट इज आस्किंग दैट प्लीज नोट अनलॉकिंग मॉडल विल डिलीट ऑल द एनालिसिस रिजल्ट आप अनलॉक करेंगे तो सारे रिजल्ट जो है वो आपके डिलीट हो जाएंगे ओके नो प्रॉब्लम लेट से सिंपली ओके दिस इज ऑल डन अच्छा तो अब इसका सोल्यूशन क्या है वी हैव टू असाइन दी रिलीज वी हैव टू असाइन वॉट रिलीज वी हैव टू मेक दिस ज्वाइंट एज अ हिंज वी हैव टू मेक दिस ज्वाइंट एज अ पिनड ओके सो फॉर दैट वॉट वी नीड टू असाइन दी रिलीजेस और रिलीज का भी बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक है यह भी मैंने शॉर्ट इंट्रोडक्शन दिया है अगर आपको ये ज्वाइंट को फ्री ऑफ कैरिंग दी मूवमेंट बनाना है हिंज सपोर्ट बनाना है हिंज ज्वाइंट बनाना है तो आपको 
रिलीज करना पड़ता है एंड को फ्रेम के एंड को है ना ये ज्वाइंट्स जितने भी फ्रेम्स कनेक्टेड है वो ज्वाइंट्स को हम लोगों को रिलीज करना है मूवमेंट ओके सो इसके ऊपर मूवमेंट्स के ऊपर मूवमेंट मीन्स रिलीज के ऊपर मैं आगे और डिटेल में डिस्कस करूँगा राइट नाउ जैसे आपको प्रोसीजर आपको ध्यान में रखिए ओके कॉन्सेप्ट अभी मैंने कुछ भी डिस्कस नहीं किया है जस्ट रिमेम्बर द प्रोसीजर टू सिलेक्ट ऑल द एलिमेंट्स डोंट नीड टू सिलेक्ट द ज्वाइंट फ्रेम को सिलेक्ट करना है सिलेक्ट ऑल द फ्रेम्स आफ्टर सिलेक्टिंग ऑफ ऑल द फ्रेम्स एलेवन फ्रेम्स आर देयर गो टू देर इज नो एनी सिलेक्शन ऑफ ज्वाइंट रिमेंबर गो टू असाइन इट इज द फ्रेम सो गो टू फ्रेम एंड इन फ्रेम हियर द ऑप्शन इज वॉट वेयर इट इज या रिलीजेस एंड पार्शियल फिक्सिटी जस्ट क्लिक ओवर दैट एंड हियर मूवमेंट अबाउट मैनर एक्सिस टू टू मूवमेंट अबाउट मेजर एक्सिस थ्री थ्री इसके बारे में भी हम लोगों का बहुत डिटेल में डिस्कशन होगा आगे किसको माइनर एक्सिस मेजर एक्सिस क्यों कहते हैं क्या कहते हैं बट टिल फॉर द इंस्टेंट चेक दिस लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इफ यू आर कंसिडरिंग एनी फ्रेम सो आई वॉन्ट फॉर ऑल द फ्रेम्स आई वॉन्ट टू रिलीज ऑन लेफ्ट हैंड साइड एंड राइट हैंड साइड दोनों एंड पे मुझको सब फ्रेम के लिए करना है सो ऑन लेफ्ट मीन्स स्टार्ट ऑन एंड मीन्स राइट एंड लेट से सिंपली अप्लाई सो आपके सारे फ्रेम पर हम लोगों ने रिलीज असाइन कर दिया इज दैट ऑल क्लियर जितना समझ में आया उतना समझ के लीजिए जो नहीं समझ में आया उसको अभी इतना सीरियसली मत लीजिए मैं आगे और डिटेल में कवर करूंगा ओके हेलो यस ना आफ्टर दिस परफॉर्म द एनालिसिस एंड लेट द एनालिसिस टू बी कंप्लीटेड एंड वंस द एनालिसिस गेट्स कंप्लीटेड एंड वार्निंग मैसेजेस वी आर गेटिंग आई विल आई विल दैट आल्सो आई विल लेट यू नो एंड सी इट इज व्हाट वी आर हैविंग द रिजल्ट गो टू डिस्प्ले रिएक्शन कैसे देखना है मैंने बता दिया वी हैव टू सी ओनली व्हाट फ्रेम फोर्सेस जस्ट गो टू दिस मेक श्योर दैट लाइव इज देयर मेक श्योर दैट एक्चुअल फोर्स ऑप्शन इज चेकड मेक श्योर दैट इज ऑटोमेटिक एंड दिस टू ऑप्शन इज चेकड गो टू फ्रेम एंड लेट्स से सिंपली अप्लाई नॉट चेक इट वेदर इट इज राइट और रॉन्ग सिक्स पॉइंट नाइन टू एट टू एंड चेक दिस वन एग्जैक्टली मैचिंग और नॉट नाउ विल यू अलाउ दिस और नॉट ओके बी सी थ्री पॉइंट फोर सिक्स बी सी थ्री पॉइंट फोर सिक्स नाउ इन दिस माइनस एट एग्जैक्टली यू आर गेटिंग हेलो ओके हियर माइनस एट माइनस एट मीन्स कॉम्प्रेशन एग्जैक्टली मैचिंग और नॉट हेलो ठीक है यहाँ पर देख लीजिए कितना वन पॉइंट सेवन थ्री टू वन वन पॉइंट सेवन थ्री टू वन और वन पॉइंट सेवन विल यू एक्सेप्ट दिस और नॉट ठीक है सो वेदर योर सॉफ्टवेयर इज गिविंग द राइट रिजल्ट और नॉट सर